download from Triple J. For more music, current affairs, comedy and culture, triplej.net.au. And now... Triple J's Hip Hop Show. Ladies and gentlemen, in the house tonight, the one and only... Yes. Boys that your mother loves to hate. <laughs> I'm talking, of course, the Funkos. The Funkos. And your sister loves to love. Loves to love. <laughs> How you doing, boys? Very good, good hell. Yeah. Terrible. Dog, <laughs> Terrible. No, <laughs> actually, yeah, I, I feel like shit. <laughs> I don't know what everyone's lying about. It. <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, like I said, when you stepped in, man, it's like you look like death warmed up. Like. Mm. Death was actually hanging out with us last night, man. He's not as bad as you make him out to be, man. That's what I wanted to ask. I wanted to talk about this tour, the Unified Tour. Yep. Uh, you've had two shows already. Yep. Yeah. Camera and Wollongong. Yep. Yes. How'd those go? Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Hans is actually two for two. Yeah, yeah. I'm two for two at this no, point. No, he's three for three. Three for three for three. Three for three. Adelaide, if you yeah. count the pre tour um, efforts. <laughs> so, uh, whose who idea to put this all together? Like, you know, listen, Esso, you guys, Winnie Cooper, and. True Life. True Life. Some genius. Yep. Some yeah, sort of genius. genius. I think yeah. Jeff had a hand in it somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, it was crazy, man. I don't know who did so that. So you just got the call and said, we want you guys to tour with these boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, yep. No, yeah. no, no, we said, how much? <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, sure. And then you went, oh, okay, um, let me think about it. Yeah, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah, we made sure that the writer was right, like the drinks, the white socks, the chicken. That's it, that's what I wanted to ask. Like, Et cetera. The take, take, me, take me through a funk Wars writer, like a typical writer, that you demand that... You oh, step behind, you know, backstage, you're like, <laughs> what the hell, fucking black m and M's not in there? Like, Hans wants salt and midriffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our writer looks uh, suspiciously like Bliss and Esso. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of got their name on it as well. <laughs> that's, how much, that's how much it looks like theirs. They keep misspelling funk horns, right? <laughs> You'd be mistaken yeah. to think it's theirs, but it's, it's an actual, in fact, ours. Do you have an actual list, or you just like... Nah, no, 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 no. We're no. grateful for yeah. whatever we get. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to have a bit of water to go on stage with, and a, you know, a handshake. Yeah. A handshake and a, and, a, and, a, and a firm hello. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, who's been getting the loudest reaction on tour? Be honest, man. Mm. Hans after the show. Yeah. We'll be getting pretty loud reactions then. Three for three. <laughs> There's something about claps there. <laughs> <laughs> that was many moons ago. <laughs> hey wifey, I got a gift for you. I brought it home. <laughs> I wrapped it up. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, do you know who? Like. Uh, or was it being pretty even? Like <clears throat> we've yeah. only had two shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's been it's been pretty good. Obviously, you know, listen, so again, they get the killer time slots. So when yeah. everyone's real stupid, mega drunk and happy, they get the cool shit. But mm. you know, we do what we do. It's been really good for us too. Yeah, nice. it's been good. It's been good. All the crazy fans coming out the woodworks and women's on and the rural <laughs> places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're just hungry for a hip hop show. Eh? Yeah, they don't get it that much. So it's. Yeah, because because they don't get it as much, they you know they they enjoy it like um. They're passionate. So who's who's the biggest drinker on tour? Yeah. Out of you four? It's all pretty you know, even yeah. effort. It's pretty uniform. <laughs> all, all, Even they're very supportive of each other. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just full blast non-stop all time. We're, we're each other's sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So is there like a... Do you think when you're on tour on the road, do you think it's like a non-stop thing or you sort of chill out during the day and then start late in the afternoon or is it just like... You know, you, you just take it one day at a time, how? You know I mean? <laughs> one drink at a time, mate. And we just do our best. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the people ask for. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all they get, if that. <laughs> now, tell, tell us a story about uh, the most annoying fan that you've had in your illustrious <laughs> career of touring. Um, or most overexcited. Uh, most of them, man. <laughs> They're all pretty effed, man. <laughs> no, because a Funko fan is a special breed of fan. Yeah, like, yeah, man. like, they're die-hard fans, man. They're, they're badasses. They're yeah. beautiful. I wouldn't wish them upon anyone, especially us, man. <laughs> but, yeah. so what, what's the wildest thing you've seen, like, while you're on stage? Shit. Like, in the crowd? Usually <laughs> fight. It's usually a fight, <laughs> man. Usually fights. They do throw their shoes at us and yeah. shit like that. I think people get bottled a bit. <laughs> And you never really know what to do. Like, you know, do you stop you the stop, track? Yeah. Do you keep going? And, and this guy's getting beat, his head in on the ground, and I'm halfway through my verse, you know. And You're thinking like, oh. What, what's the ethical decision one must make when you're halfway through your verse, you know? 
<laughs> what would Jesus do? Like? What would Jesus do? <laughs> well, he wouldn't be rapping for starters, I tell you that. <laughs> no. Now, Charles, you showed me some footage yes. on the camera. Yes. I'm glad this is a radio station, not yeah. a TV station. <laughs> that footage will come to light soon enough. Uh, so what, what's the what's the wildest thing that you've seen backstage? Oh, it could be man. at your show or someone else's show. Um, when we talk, when we played um the thing that the last thing that stands out when we played um the lair this MTV show they got going on. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, the host of it thought it would be a sick idea. I don't know why to impress us to just. Get, get naked and just tuck the wang and parade himself around like a Lady Madonna and shit, which is pretty cool, man. So uh, that was the first me and John I ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. And won't really? be, yeah. be the last either. <laughs> yeah, the tour's just started, right? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah. no. As soon as I got back to the hotel, guess what I was doing in front of the man, man? Hey, fellas, this is how we <laughs> Man, jeezy, man. And if you do it right and you're correct enough, you get the kangaroo tail shit popping off as well. <laughs> which is the cool shit, man. <laughs> so did you, when he came out, like. Did you actually laugh, or did you sort of like look at each other like? The... I think I shit myself a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of weed came out <laughs> of him. <laughs>